Stefano Camini has had this kind of pressure before. But look how strong that Honda is down the straight. Is there going to be an overlap when they get to the braking zone? There is, but it's going to be the other side. Camini now needs to move over. Has Colciago done enough? Vavish on James Nash. A little bit of kissing for the lead. And James Nash loses that third position. Colciago comes across the uh, chicane. Going to have to give that position back to Stefano Camini. Colciago now in the lead of the race. Camini second, Vavish in third spot. And now Colciago on the defensive. Camini back into the lead. I think that was probably Roberto Colciago just fading out of the accelerator, knowing that he made that pass illegally. Nice sportsmanship from Colciago, as you'd expect. But now he's got half a lap to do the pass again. Actually, no, we've got two laps, haven't we? This is not the last lap. One more after this. I love it, I love it. Jat van Lagen in 11th at the back of that train. Every single one of our point scorers in a train of 10 cars separated by four seconds. Colciago looks to the inside, flashing that light, those lights furiously to try and distract uh, Camini, to try and take his eyes off the apex and into the mirrors. There is the top 11 cars. Camini zigzags to the left and then to the right. Those three are starting to break away from Nash. And here comes Homola on John and John Calvin I'm sure there was a gap enough to do it. Not quite. He may well take the Alfa Romeo of David Kajaya with him. Great to have the Georgian driver. So far a clean race, other than that contact with Tassi at the start. Now Kamini on the defensive. He knows what he needs to do here. Same again, force him off the circuit, and Colciago will know that he can't make that move. Nash is also defending for fourth position. This time Colciago cannot make a way through. John Carbonet into the lead of the race. No, slow down. Can't do that, JK. <laughs> Fifth position up to second. He's going to have to fade out that throttle a lot now. Um, let's uh, Vavish back into third. Let's James Nash back into fourth position. And now Sots back into his rightful slot. Little lock up from Vavish. Oh, that's a mistake from Vavish. Loses the rear end. Can James Nash capitalize on that? Going to Lesmos. He tries, but Vavish really, really hard on the defensive. And that backed James Nash up into Jean Calvinet. But again, these two corners are really hard to find a way through. There's not really much of a braking zone. And we have now just two more opportunities to shuffle this pack. Into the Ascari chicane if you're brave, and then into the Parabolica for the last time. Colciago doesn't have to worry about Vavish now. He can focus forward on Stefano Camini. No one trying to make a pass into Ascari. It's all going to be down to that last corner. I think James Nash actually might be looking in his mirrors. It might be under pressure from, uh, from Matto Homola, is it? Behind him? No, it's uh, John Calvinet. Camini to the inside line. One last chance for Roberto Colciago to make this move happen. It's not going to happen for him here. Maybe a switch back, maybe a run to the line. Can he just tighten this apex a little bit? Can he get enough of momentum through this final turn? I think Stefano Camini has just about held on. What a race from our TCR International boys. Fantastic stuff. Camini, Colciago and Vavish is the podium. But look at the flood of cars coming over the line. The top 11 cars separated by just four seconds by the end. And it's an Audi victory again. <laughs> And come to you racing, take their second victory in TCR International. Previously a Fun Cup team running Volkswagen Fun Cups in the 25 hours and other national series. And now they're on the international stage. And Chris Rankin, very, very happy. Upper Camini style. That party is going to go on and on and on today. What is it? Uh, local time, 11.20. I'm sure we'll have Camini with a, uh, a beer in his hand quite soon, as soon as possible in fact.